friends, it's Anne McClure. I'm here to show you some of my favorite Usborne and Kane Miller titles for babies and toddlers. This first book, That's Not My Dragon, is part of our That's Not My series. This is our most, well, this is my favorite series. It's one of our most popular series. And if you've ever heard of Usborne books, this may be the series that you've um, been introduced to. These are really, really wonderful for um, infants up to several years of age. Every single book is structured the same way. They just have a different animal um, that they're about. They all have touchy-feely pieces, things that are squishy, things that are soft. And they all have this little mouse on the page, and he's somewhere different on every page. So it's like a very early seek and find for those littlest readers. You also notice that the text starts introducing some really um, complex adjectives. So it's really great for language acquisition. Prickly, knobbly, uh, what do we have here? Fuzz, uh, fuzzy, okay, so these are really great um, because the, the content of the story is really high but it also gets your kids engaging with print media in a way that's safe for the book. It's hard for them to destroy this kind of a book. Um, and it has all these fun things that they like to touch. So from a very early age, they can um, start really diving into a book. I also love for these little infants up to early toddlers our slide and sees. We have a whole series of these. The slides are really easy to manipulate for little fingers. Again, really chunky pages. And um, there are cutouts, things to touch on every page. But again, these are really difficult to break. If a child is to break one of your books, you can replace them with our 50% replacement policy. You can get an entirely um, new book for 50% of the original retail value. So we have an awesome, generous policy for that. But because these slides are built right in, they're really very difficult to destroy. So another great one for your littles. We have a whole bunch of um, touch and feels and lift the flaps. This one is one of my favorites, the animal hide and seek. Again, it has these pieces that you can touch, things that are soft, things that are shiny. But this one is also really fun because it has the flaps as well. So I do love this one because it's kind of a combination of both. You sort of get both things for your money. For slightly older kids, those um, to young toddlers, we have a couple of seek and finds that are another awesome way to get them engaging with the text. So this one is called Find the Puppy. We also have Find the Duck. And on every page, this little puppy is hiding somewhere. So there's a little clue. Can you see where? And here he is hiding under the high chair. So you can see on every single page, your first job is to look for the little puppy where he might be. And then at the back of the book, they give you some extra things to practice counting and some extra things to find. A little bit of a step up, and another great way to get them starting to engage um, with the text and the print media before they're actually reading. This Colorful World series I love because I think the illustrations are just gorgeous. They have several, I think there's farm and mountain, and these are a little bit of a step up from Find the Puppy because there's a question on each page. Find the fox whose ears are not the same find the badger going the other way. Some of the questions are easier, some are a little trickier. Find the bird without a match. So it's a bit of a step up, but again, that same um, technique drawing them into the story. And this last one is one of my favorites for, for toddlers and um, preschoolers. This one is called All Better. We also have a really neat title about a bear, um, a little bear getting glasses, and it's the same concept. This book comes with five reusable stickers, and as you follow the story throughout the book, you're gonna meet different animals who have different ouchies, and the kids are going to be instructed to clean it, 
kiss it and put a bandage on it. So they will have their little Band-Aid sticker and they will use that sticker for the animal's ouchie. Now, one thing I also love about this, in addition to the fact that it's a really cute concept and a really neat book, as they're taking the stickers off and on, they're matching which animal and which color the sticker goes with. So they have to figure out what that match is to put them back on the correct page. So once again, what I love about this company is that not only are the books really um, well done physically, and not only do they have really fun stories and really engaging um, ways of drawing the kids into the book and into the text itself, but they all have so, have so much educational content built right into the design of the book. So you wouldn't even really think of this, right? But again, this is a storybook that also includes some aspects of matching, which is a great way to practice that for little kids. So those are my favorites for young readers. I can certainly recommend more. I had to just pick a few, but I hope you enjoy those. And if you have any other questions or anything specific you'd like to see, please ask.